Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwidash. I want to give double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, those that believe, the brothers and sisters that believe upon the names Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is going to be another quick lesson centered around the Lord will not acquit the wicked. Galatians 6 and 7 tells us, Be not deceived, so we shouldn't be swayed off of the path of the truth. All right? And the truth of the matter is, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And concerning the wicked one, all right, that man of sin that the scripture speaks about, we are in the time of him reaping what he have already sown, all right? And the man of sin that the scripture speaks of would be the so-called modern-day white man, all right? Beginning with the top-tier elites, the world bankers. Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. So the Most High have set up the wicked to take him down, all right? So his power, all right, and his glory and his splendor, all right, can be praiseworthy, all right? So the whole um, earth as a whole will know Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Because these people don't understand that the Most High is about to destroy America, all right? Starting with the rulership of the so-called modern-day white man, all right, which America is spearheaded or, or controlled by the wicked elites, okay? America is that cancer to the body, the body being the earth. And the source of that cancer in the body, all right, which is America, is the wicked elites. Now, the scripture tells us here in Nahum that they will not be acquitted, okay? Nahum 1, and I'm going to start at verse 2, it says, The Most High is jealous. And the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, revengeth. The Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, revengeth. So the scripture tells us that the Lord is going to do all the, the paying back for us. So we shouldn't fret ourselves against evildoers. Now, we have zeal among us, all right, and we sigh and cry on a uh, hourly basis, all right, but that's not going to make us go out and take arms up against the wicked. All right, because we know the scriptures. Okay, the, the Most High is going to revenge us. Um, the book of the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one. Yeah, chapter one and verse six tells us it says, "Sin it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation." To them that trouble you, all right? So who is troubling us to this day with their laws, their legislations, all right? Who is troubling us to this day? The so-called modern-day white man, because why? They are in rulership, okay? But it's going to be a righteous thing for the Most High to recompense or pay back tribulation upon them. That's why the scripture tells us in Galatians 6 and 7, all right? If a man sow one thing, that is what he's going to reap. The so-called modern-day white race, all right, they have sown them with evil seed. So they're going to receive that back, all right? And it's the time for their harvest. <laughs> it says, verse 7, it says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall, run, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, and that's the Most High, sending Yahweh Shai back, all right, to, to wreak havoc. To pay back this devil. Okay? It says, and how is the Most High going to allow Yahweh Shah to pay back this devil? Okay? Let's jump back to Nahum. Um, verse 2 again. It says, The Most High is jealous, and the Lord revengeth, the Lord revengeth, and is furious. So the fury of the Lord is upon this, this sinful kingdom. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserve of wrath for his enemies. And who are the enemies? Who are the adversaries of the Most High? Who war against the Most High on a day-to-day -day basis? 
the physical counterpart of the spiritual being Satan, which is a man, the so-called modern-day white man, beginning with the top-tier elites. Job 9 and 24 again, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, so the wicked is running the earth, and the Most High once again have set them up so he can knock them down, all right? His wrath, all right, his, his, his fury, all right, is upon them, okay? And it has been reserved, and what has been reserved, what is the Most High reserving for these devils? Fire. That's the best way to get rid of cancer out of the body is fire. All right. And he's going to give them a holy um, chemo treatment. OK. By those laser beams coming out of the fathership that Yahweh Shai is going to be riding upon. And the rest of the host of heaven, the rest of the angels, the armies of the Lord. See, accompanied by the way of 200 million missiles. That's that 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 wrath that has been reserved. OK. For these devils. Um, Second Peter. Chapter 3, in verse 3, it says, Knowing this first, that that shall knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continued as they were from the beginning of the creation. All right, and that's what's taking place right now. These people don't believe. All right, we had a Jake come up to the camp a few years ago, an older Jake, right before we opened up camp. And the Jake Rather cry was, hey, man, I heard this message 30 years ago. I heard this 30 years ago and saying that, man, this saying has been out for years and it haven't happened yet. So this is this is this is Jake, you know, saying since the fathers fell asleep. All right. Everything has stayed the same. It's nothing happened. But we are in these times where the prophecies are speaking now. All right. The vision is set for an appointed time. It, though it Terry wait for it at the end, it shall speak roughly paraphrasing. And these are the times. Verse 5, it says, For this they are willingly, all right, for this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, here's the point, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, all right, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished during the time of Noah, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, all right, this present time, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, see, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right, that's why the book of Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1 says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly, all right, the wicked elites, Okay, and that trickles all the way down to two thirds of our people. They are not the wicked, but they do wickedly. It says, "Shall be stubble." How do you create stubble? By fire. All right, that day that's going to burn as an oven. It says, "And the day that cometh shall burn them up." Say of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shav Host that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right, so that's the day that the Most High has reserved. See that. He made a promise that he's not going to destroy the planet, all right, the earth with water, all right, but he have promised by his word to reserve a day, all right, for fire, all right, against the ungodly men. See that? It says, verse 8, but, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, and the opposite of ignorance is to know. So you must know this, and this is to the beloved amongst the believers, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. So our time frame, the Most High, the angels, Yahweh Shai, they're on a different frequency, on a different time frame than us. That's why we must patient, be patient, should I say. And that's why that day has been reserved, see, been kept in store, see that, up until this time. See that, because the Most High time is not our time. See that, that's why it seems like a long time to us. But this place is out of here. We just got to have patience, all right, and understand the way of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? The Most High is going to plead with this place as the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15 says, Isaiah 66 and 15, for behold, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire. See, that's that fire that has been reserved. For this sinful kingdom, for this present time that we're living in, 
and with his chariots like a whirlwind. See, that's your Howl Shah coming with the host of heaven, the armies, to render his anger with fury. See, that's that fury of the Lord. Because he is furious. All right, he's going to take vengeance. And his rebuke with flames of fire. And what's that's going to come by? Those concentrated beams of fire, all right, or laser beams coming out of the father ship that Yahweh Shah is going to be riding upon. The rest of the angels, the rest of the ships that the angels are going to be riding on, accompanied by the way of 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's the fire that the Most High have this place reserved for, or should I say, have reserved for this place. Verse 16, it says, For by fire, see, for by fire and by his sword. Will the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, plead with all flesh? And what is this sword? This sword is going to be the thermonuclear missiles. See that? Because the Most High is a man of war. Okay? The Most High have the perfect weapons for war. All right? And that perfect weapon to get rid of the cancer forever is the intercontinental ballistic missiles, that holy fire, so to speak. You know, that holy radiation to cleanse the cancer out of the body. That's how the Most High is going to plead with all flesh. All right? And you go into that word plead. All right? And the Strong's H, 8199, says what? To judge. See? Punish. That's how the Most High is going to judge. That's how he's going to execute judgment. See? To execute judgment. All right? That's how he's going to punish the wicked and the proud. That's how he's going to cleanse the land with that fire, okay? It says, and the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, shall be many. That's right. That's why they call us fear mongers, sellers of fear, all right? Because we are what? Warning you, all right? We, 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 we warn you with the fear of the Lord on us, just like Noah did, all right? Through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men, as, as the scripture says, all right? Nahum, chapter 1. In verse 3, it says, The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, is slow to anger. Yeah, he's long-suffering and great in power, and the world is about to see it, okay? And will not at all acquit the wicked. That's right. The wicked is not going to be uh, 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 found innocent, all right? The wicked is not going to be let off of of the uh, of, of this, this murder charges. Not murder charge, but murder charges that they have, all right? They're on death row. And they won't be acquitted. Let's look up this word acquitted. In the Strong's H. 5352. And it says. To be cleaned out. To be purged out. To be clean. Be free from guilt. Be innocent. See. So we all know that the wicked is not going to be found innocent. They're not going to be found clean. The wicked is not going to receive a white pearl or a white stone, which means innocence. They're going to receive that what? That black stone. Several of them, all right? Because they're, they're going to be found guilty on all charges. So the scripture says, The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. See that? So the Most High is going to appoint destruction upon this place by the fire that he, that he has reserved and has reserved for this moment that we're living in right now. All right? And there's nothing the wicked can do about it. All right? We just pray to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, in the name of his only begotten son, that we receive that, that white stone. All right? And we uh, have a covering of, over us. All right? And we be found innocent in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But the wicked, all right, well, shall be destroyed. Okay, thus saith Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, so Lord willing, I pray that that made sense and that this was edifying. The wicked will not be acquitted. Not at all. Shalom.